So, welcome everybody to this advanced yoga class. We will do a vinyasa flow and um, yeah, let's get started. Get to sit in a comfortable position on your mat. Close your eyes for a moment to arrive in the room to mentally prepare for the practice. You may feel the mat underneath of your buttocks. You may hear some sounds around. You may feel your breath flowing in and out of your body. Eliminating the noise here in the background. Then you can check whether you can feel your heartbeat. Relax your face muscles. Relax your shoulders. And then on the next inhale, bring your arms up. Give yourself a good stretch. to the ceiling and open the arms, open the chest and exhale, bring the arms down. Again, inhale, arms up, open the chest and exhale down. Start rotating the shoulders backwards and I need to adapt something here. Doesn't want to. Okay. And then rotate forward. And then relax the shoulders. Let's do some breathing exercises. We can do the Kapalabhati breathing. You probably know it. I'll just quickly explain it. So Kapalabhati is a way to, in, to exhale only and to exhale only through the nose. And it's a forceful exhale that is coming from the belly. So you use the belly to pump, to put it, you pull it inwards and with that the air comes out of the nose. And when we start Kapalabhati, don't pay attention to the inhale, it comes automatically. So let's go for a round of 30 exhalations. So inhale, first take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. And then take a normal inhale and start pumping. And slow down a bit and stop. Again, take a deep inhale and exhale. And we go for a second round. So take a medium inhale and then start pumping. <laughs> And slow down and exhale fully. <clears throat> Again, take a deep inhale and exhale through the mouth. Good. Let's take another deep inhale into the shoulders and exhale, shoulders fall down. So inhale up and exhale down. And the last time, inhale up and exhale down. Good, let's warm up the neck. 
So on an inhale, bring the head back, stretch the throat. And on the exhale, bring the, the chin into the chest and stretch the neck. Inhale up. And exhale down. And one more. And then back to the middle. And let's rotate the head. So make circles. Inhale when you bring the head up. And exhale when you bring it down. Be gentle. The neck is a very sensitive area where we store a lot of stress and a lot of tension. So we have to carefully release it. And next time your head is down, change the direction. back to the middle. Good. Let's come to a knee stand. Hands are laid the shoulders and the legs hip wide open, straight leg. And do a couple of cow and cat movements. So inhale, bend the back and exhale, round it. Inhale, bend. Exhale, round. Look at your belly button. Bring the back as high up as possible. And then back in the middle. With the next inhale, bring the right arm up, twist sidewards, and on the exhale, bring the arm underneath of the body to the other side. And inhale up, and exhale, slide down. And next time you're down on your shoulder, just stay there for a moment. You can put some weight on the shoulder. Stay in the twist. And then inhale, bring the hand back on the mat. And we do the same for the other side. So inhale up and exhale down. And next time you're down, again, put some weight on the shoulder, stay in the twist, continue breathing. And come back in the middle, move your hips from right to left. And then the last thing on the inhale, bring the right leg out and the left arm. 
You start pointing and flexing the foot and the hand. And they make circles in one direction. And the other, warming up the wrists and the ankles. And down, inhale, other side, point and flex. And then rotate. And the other direction. And exhale down. Give yourself a good stretch. And then we can, you can pull, push into your toes and come to the downward facing dog. Bring the hand between the arms, straighten your back. And straighten the legs as much as possible. Start walking the heels to the mat. And then pushing both heels towards the mat. Keeping the back straight, the arms long, the shoulders away from the ears. And then start walking the feet towards the hands. And when you're there, slowly roll yourself up. To a standing position. Good. Let's do a couple of rounds of sun salutations. So come to the beginning of the mat. Bring the big toes together and the heels slightly apart so that the feet are like square. Pull the toes up, stretch the arch of the feet, and then spread out the toes and bring them back on the mat one by one, starting with the little pinky toe. Continue pulling the toes in the mat, bring the outside of the feet in the mat, and feel that the weight is equally distributed on all parts. Activate the leg muscles, bring the belly inside and up, chest up, the shoulders are back and down, long neck, arms straight, fierce mountain position. And then let's go for a couple of rounds of sun salutation A. So we inhale, bring the arms up and the palms of the hands together. Exhale, bend down from the hip, bring the hands next to the feet. Inhale, straighten the back, look forward. And then exhale, step back or jump back into the plank and down into the lower plank. Inhale, come into the, into the cobra and exhale into the downward facing dog. Take two deep in and exhales here. Push the heels down on the mat. And then look forward and prepare for a step or a jump back between the hands. Inhale, look forward, straighten your back. Exhale, down those to the knees. Inhale, come up, palms of the hands together. Exhale, down. Excellent, that was the first round. Again, inhale up, exhale down, hands next to the feet. Inhale, look forward, exhale, jump or step back directly into the lower plank if you can, otherwise in the high one and then the lower. Inhale, cobra, exhale, downward facing door. Look forward, inhale, prepare for a jump or a step. Between the hands, inhale, straighten your back, exhale down. Inhale, up and palms of the hands together. Lengthen your spine. Exhale down. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, jump into the lower plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, prepare and jump. 
Inhale, look forward, straighten your back, exhale down. Inhale, up, hands together, and exhale down. Excellent. Another one. Inhale, up, exhale down. Inhale, look forward, exhale, prepare for a jump. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And look forward, inhale, and then jump. Straighten your back, look forward. Exhale, most of the legs. Inhale, up, straighten, lengthen the spine. Exhale, down. One more round. If it's too fast, do it in your own rhythm. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump back into the lower plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward. Step or jump. Forward. Exhale, down. Inhale, up, straighten. And exhale. Excellent. Take a little moment, close your eyes. Feel your heart beating. Feel the blood circulation. And observe the changes in your body. Feel your feet pushing into the mat. Feel your toes touching each other. And find your balance back, standing on all parts of your feet. And open your eyes and get prepared for the sun salutations B. We will do the first round a little bit slower. So we inhale again, bring the palms of the hands together, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend down, nose towards the knees. Inhale, straighten the back, look up. Exhale, step or jump back into the lower plank, elbows close to your body. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And this time we stay here for one deep in and exhale. And on the next inhale, lift your right leg off the mat and then bring it in between of your hands. The left foot goes sideways to stabilize. And we come up in warrior one. And exhale, bring the hands down again. Bring the right foot back, down it into the lower plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And the same with the other side. So inhale, lift your left. Bring it in between the hands. Inhale, come up. Warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Right foot, left foot back. back. Lower plank, cobra, dog, and then look forward, prepare for a step back or jump back. Inhale, lengthen, look forward, exhale down, and inhale, come up, straighten towards the ceiling, exhale down. Very good, that was the first round, we do another one. Inhale, hands together, exhale, bend down from your hips. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step or jump back, lower plank, inhale, cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg off the mat, in between your hands, come into warrior one. And exhale, hands back on the mat, back in the plank, lower plank, cobra, downward facing dog, it's always the same. Sequence, inhale, left foot off the mat, and in between of your hands. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, lower plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push your heels into the mat. If you cannot reach the mat by now, come a little bit forward with your feet and see whether then you can push your heels down. Continue breathing. 
Inhale, look forward, prepare for a jump or a step back. Lengthen your spine, look forward, exhale down, inhale up, and exhale, hands down. Very good. We do a third round, but we do it with variations. So let's inhale again, bring the hands up, straighten towards the ceiling, exhale down. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step or jump back, lower plank. Inhale, cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. And then lift the right leg off the mat as high as possible without twisting the hips. So the hips are still pointing downwards, the right foot is pointed, feel the stretch in the left leg. Continue breathing. Never stop breathing. That's where you can get the energy from, the prana. And then open your hips to the right side, bring the leg higher. And you can bend the right leg to let gravity open your hips a bit more. Try not to fall over. And continue breathing into this hip. Opening an exercise. Shoulders away from the ears. And then we straighten the leg again. Bring it down on the mat. Come down to the plank, lower plank. Chaturanga Asana, Cobra. Downward facing dog. And we do the same with the other side. So inhale, lift the left foot off the mat, the leg. Keep your hips straight, facing down. Point your left foot. And on the next inhale, open the hips to the side, bring the leg a bit higher. And if it feels good, you can also bend the leg. And let the gravity open your hips a bit more. Push into your hands and into your right foot. And breathe. And then straighten your leg, legs, and bring it down. Come into the lower plank into the cobra and into the downward facing dog. These three elements of asanas together uh, form the vinyasa flow, the between between a lot of the exercises. And then this time bring the right foot up and in between of your hands, you come up into the warrior one and hold the warrior one for a moment. See whether you can sink a bit deeper. Make sure that your knee is above your ankle, that it's not falling out or inward. Straighten your back, relax your shoulders. And then come into the warrior two. So bring your hips sidewards. I should have stood the other way around. Doesn't matter. So your hips are now to the side. The right hand pointing forward, the knee above the ankle, the arms shoulder high. You can control it. And then from there, bring your elbow on the leg and the left arm above your head. Straighten and lengthen your spine. And if you can, you can bring the right hand next to your right foot and the knee in the armpit and come further down into your hips. This is almost a launch position, strengthening your legs and your arms. And also stretching your hip flexors. 
and bring the left hand down, bring the right foot back into the plank, come to the lower plank, into the cobra, and into the downward facing dog. Stay here for a moment, deep in and exhale. And prepare for the other side. So inhale, lift the left leg off the mat, bring the foot between your hands, and come up into the warrior one. Make sure your hips are facing forward. So you may have to actually bring your right hip a little bit more forward, the right foot slightly pointing forward too. And the arms go up, knee above the ankle. And breathe. On the next exhale, bring your arms down, open the hips to the side, and come into the warrior two. Make sure your weight is equally distributed between the right foot and the left foot. You can check it and move a bit around. Shoulders are low, relaxed, and look forward. On the next exhale, bring the left arm on the knee and the right arm over your head. Stretch your side. And again, if you can, and if you feel right, you can put the left hand next to the foot. Bring your knee next or under your armpit. And come down and straighten forward a little bit more. Look up. And try to make your leg, to make your body one line, starting from the right foot and up to the right hand. And then bring the right hand next to your foot. Come into the plank position, push backwards, come to the lower plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, our facing dog. Inhale, look forward, prepare for a jumbo step back. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, down with your nose. And inhale. Exhale, arms down. Good, relax a moment. Shake out a little bit. Close your eyes and feel the effects on your body. And when you're ready, bring your feet together again, big toes touching each other, weight equally distributed, strong mountain position. We inhale and come into the chair position. Keep your back straight, so the hips are not pointing outwards, but the back is straight, arms next to your ears, as much as possible. And then exhale, bring your hands down, close to the knees, Inhale, look up. You can come a bit higher to form a table, straighten your back, look forward. And then bring your hands down and again jump or step back into the lower plank. Inhale, look up. And exhale down, down facing dog. And then come into the plank and stay in the plank for a moment. See whether we can do five deep in and exhales in the plank. If it gets too heavy, heavy, see for yourself. Just rest. Bring your knees down. Four. Three. Two. You need to activate your belly muscles. 
and one. If you can, turn sidewards into the side plank. If this is too heavy, you can also put your left knee down. Open your chest to the side. Long arm and a long stretch body. And breathe. And bring a little smile on your face. It's all fun after all. And exhale, bring the hand down. If you need a rest, take a rest. Otherwise, turn to the other side. Side plank. Long arms. Stretching towards the ceiling. The rest of the body doesn't move. And exhale, plank. And then come to the lower plank. Hold it for a moment. Elbows next to the body. Long body. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep in and exhale here. And then bring the right foot between the hands, left knee goes down. And inhale, open to the side, twist to the side, open the chest, breathe into the chest. And hand down. Bring the hand, right hand left of the knee. So bring the foot outside, outwards, and see whether you can let your hips fall down a bit further. Open your hips, bring them down onto the mat. And you can either look upwards, or if you feel very flexible today, you can bring your elbows on the mat. Feel how your hips open. In the stretch. And again, relax the shoulders, relax your face. And come back on your hands. Come back into the plank, lower plank. Cobra, downward facing dog. Push the heels down and then bring the left foot between the hands, right knee goes down. And on the next inhale, open to the left side. Twist your upper body. And then bring the hand down and place it inside of the knee. So bring the knee outside of the hands. And again, let your hips fall down. Try to use your exhale in letting your hips fall down a bit more. And if you want, you can down, come down on the elbows, depending on your hip flexibility. Keep your back straight as much as possible. And continue in the next sailing. And then come your hands into plank, lower plank, cobra, down facing dog. Look forward, prepare for a jump or step back. Inhale, straighten your back, 
Look forward. Exhale, nose down to the knees. Inhale, come up into the chair position. Hold the chair for a moment. And exhale, come back. Good, shake out a little bit. Well done. Again, take a little moment to feel into your body. What have these asanas done or changed? How does it feel? And notice what you notice, whether you consider it negative or positive. Don't judge, just notice. Good. Let's continue with some balance. So again, bring your feet together. Make sure the weight is equally distributed, that you stand in a fierce way. And then bring the weight more to your right leg. You'll start with a tree. So bring your left foot either on the inside of the, of the calf or of the thigh. Don't push it against the knee. Find your balance, straighten your back, activate your core muscle. For the balance, there are a couple of things which are important. It's first of all to use your core muscles, it's to push into your foot, and in particular, I'm pushing into the right toe, so the toe of the foot that's on the mat, and then to breathe regularly. So inhale, when you're ready, bring your arms up, lengthen towards the ceiling, and continue inhaling and exhaling. Take seven deep in and exhales. You can count for yourself. On the next exhale, bring your arms down. Keep your leg up, bring it forward, and then bend your right knee and wrap the left foot around the calf. You have to go a bit deeper, so you have to really bend the right leg in order to be able to wrap the foot around. And for me, it works very well on this side and that's good on the other. Keep your upper body straight. Push into the right toe, and then give yourself a hug. And then open your hands, you can intertwine your fingers or your hands if possible. Lift the elbows up a little bit, and look either forward or into your hands. Continue breathing. Three. Two, one, and zero, and relax your arms and the legs. Check them out a little bit. Well done. And let's go for the other side. So find your balance. Move the weight towards the left foot. And bring your right foot on the car or on the thigh. Find your balance and inhale, bring the arms up. Breathe. Use your core muscles and lengthen your spine a little bit more. Again, take seven deep in and exhales. If you fall out of the position, just come back into it. And on the next exhale, bring the arms down, release the foot, 
bring it forward, bend your left leg, wrap the foot around, oops, wrap it around, and try to bring it behind your calf muscle. Much more difficult for me on this side. Push into the toe, push into the mat. Your body straight. Again, give yourself a hug. And then open your hands, bring the arms up a little bit, and breathe. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. One more deep in and exhale. And then release the hands and the arms. Shake out a little bit. Well done. Roll your shoulders back. And forward. Good. And again, we come to the beginning of the mat. Toes together, feet together, stand fierce mountain position. Inhale, arms up, chair. Exhale, bend down. Inhale, look forward. And then exhale, come into the lower plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward forcing dog. And then look forward, prepare for a jump. And this time, when you step or jump forward, come directly to a sitting position and bring your legs forward. Shake them out a little bit. Bend your right leg, bring it inside or outside of the left knee. Make sure that you sit on your sitting bones. You may release some of the glutes. Your left foot is pointing towards yourself. And then we inhale. Bring the left arm up, the right supports, and exhale, twist to the right side. Look around the corner as much as you can. And use your in and exhale to go further into the position. So with, with each inhale, you lengthen your spine, you straighten your leg. And with each exhale, you come a little bit further into the twist. Check it for yourself. Sometimes it's just a millimeter. But normally with each exhale, you can go a little bit further. And release. Change legs. Bring the left foot out of the right leg. Make sure you sit on the sitting bones, point the right foot. Inhale, lengthen, straighten, and exhale, come into the twist. Use your breath, relax your face, and exhale, lengthen your legs, shake them out a little bit. And we'll do another exercise, which one round, you can see it better. Bring first, open the legs a little bit, and bring, bend the left leg, and bring the left foot underneath of your right uh, upper leg. Make sure that the knee is pointing forward. Again, sit on the sitting bones. And then bring the right leg over the left. Bring the right leg as much over the left leg as possible. It doesn't matter if it doesn't fit exactly. Again, sit on your sitting bones, straighten your leg. And then you can either bring your right arm up 
and just pull your elbow a bit down to open the right shoulder. Or if you're flexible enough in your shoulder, you can bring the left arm around and grab your right hand and then pull the hands, the arms against each other to further open the shoulder. Continue breathing. The shoulder is actually, actually also one of the joints that often feels like you cannot open it at all. And with a little bit of practice, you can in very short time have quite a lot of success in getting further releasing it further and becoming more flexible. So we release slowly, bring the arms back, shake out a bit. And then you can either change the legs manually, I say, or you can do the fun part. So push into your feet, come up a little bit, and then turn to the left side, turn once around completely until you sit exactly opposite. So this time the right leg is below the left leg. Free your glutes and sit on the sitting bones. Straighten your back. If it doesn't work, just adjust. And we do the same opening with the other arm. So bring the left arm up and either just pull open or try to grab your hand with the other one, with the other hand. This side is more difficult for me. Continue breathing and pull open your shoulders. Keep your back straight. And really slowly shake out your arms a little bit, shake out your legs, and then come onto your knees. And let's go for a headstand. If you know how it works, just go into it. If you're new to it or need to practice, I will show it once. So bring the, the hands into your elbows so that you know the width that you need to have balance and stability. Bring your elbows down on the mat and then open the arms. You can either interlace your fingers or keep them close to each other. Then come onto your toes and bring your head, your head in your hands. And then try to walk your feet towards your body until your back is completely straight. And if you walk a bit further, you will see that you will actually bring some weight onto your head, onto your elbows, and you can lift up. So you can try it. If you don't feel safe, you can also practice the dolphin, which has the same arm movement, and you just bring your buttocks up, like in the downward facing dog, and bend forward and backward to strengthen your shoulders. I'll go into the headstand for a moment. If you are in the headstand, try to relax into it and stay there for seven to, deep, to ten deep in and exhalations. Yogis love the inversion, it's very healthy. Relax your shoulders and your face. And when you have enough, just come back on the mat and relax in child position. So 
but try to come down in a controlled way. And where, whatever you have been practicing, come down in resting child position for a moment. Relax your back, your shoulders, your face. And then come up and come to lie on your belly. And we can do the, the bow position. If you have a very sensitive lower back, you may want to not do it and just do the cobra instead. If you don't have a too flexible, too sensitive lower back, try to grab either your feet or your ankles. And first of all, pull your feet down towards your buttocks. Stretch the thighs. And then grab your ankles fiercely and on the next inhalation, you can pull into your hands and lift the arms and the legs of the mat. Make sure you breathe into the chest, otherwise you will start wobbling forward and backwards. Breathe. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed, your face. And exhale, come down, form a pillow with your hands and relax for a moment. And then let's go into the bow again. So again, grab your feet or your ankles. And on the next inhale, push strongly into them. Lift up. So your weight is now on your belly and on your hips. Breathe into your chest. Try to get a bit higher. And release, push yourself up and stretch the back. Relax and child pose for a moment. And then we come back on the belly. And turn around onto the back. Straighten the legs, bring the legs together, the feet together, the spine is on the mat as much as possible. And we're going to do some exercise for the belly muscles. So choose for yourself whether you want to use one leg at a time or both legs. So on the next inhale, lift either the right leg or both legs 30% of the mat, an angle of 30 degrees. Keep your spine on the mat, feel your belly muscles, the shoulders stay on the mat, and the feet are pointed. Hold this position. If it gets too heavy, release it, but try to hold it as long as you can. Continue breathing. And then bring the leg slowly back onto the mat. Take a deep inhale into your belly and exhale through the mouth.
And then we do the same either with the other leg or with both again, bring the feet together. Inhale 30 degrees, point your feet. And then bring your legs higher. If you have only one leg up, bring the other one up to 90 degrees. Try to straighten your legs and to keep your feet pointed in the candle position. The spine is straight on the mat. Feel a stretch in your legs. Another two deep in and exhales. Again, use your breath if the legs are not completely straight to go a bit deeper into the position. Arms are long along the body. And then you can bend your legs and come up into the shoulder stand. So roll up into the shoulder stand, support your back. And bring your elbows as close to each other as possible to avoid that you have any weight on your neck. So make sure the weight is on the shoulders and on the elbows. See whether you can come a bit higher. Your feet are pointed up. muscles are activated, your pelvis muscles are activated. And if you want and know how to, you can do a bit of ujjayi breath, which is ideal in this position where the throat is a little bit twisted or a little bit pushed, pressed anyway. Correct by yourself, come a bit higher, straighten a bit more. Another three deep in and exhales. And then on the next exhale, try to bring your right leg over your head down to the floor as far as you can. If the toes can reach the floor, touch it and then bring the leg up again. Do the same with the other leg, exhale down as far as you can. And with the inhale, you bring it up again. And then we do the same with both legs, come into the plow position. Bend from the hips, bring the legs as far down as possible, keep them as straight as possible. If the toes touch the, the, the floor, then you can release your arms from your back and interlace your fingers. If they don't reach the floor, continue supporting your back with your hands. Try to straighten your legs and to bring your Buttocks as high up to straighten your back as much as possible towards the ceiling. Breathe. Take another three deep inhales in the plow. And 
And on the next exhale, release your knees, bring them close to your ears. Become a little packet and stay here for another three deep in and exhales. And then straighten your legs again and support your back to roll back out of the position, back onto the mat, vertebra by vertebra. Bring your feet on the mat, bend your legs. Open your arms to the side and on the next exit, your knees fall to the right and your head to the left. Enjoy the twist, relax. And inhale, bring the knees up and exhale, change to the other side. And then inhale, bring the knees back on the mat. Bring the knees towards your chest. Give yourself a good hug, bring your head up, become a little packet. And maybe you need to move a little bit around on your spine. And then release the head and the legs onto the mat. We do as the last exercise, the fish. So bring your legs together, the feet together, spine is on the mat. And bring your hands underneath of your buttocks. So basically lie on your hands for part of your lower arms. And on the next inhale, you push into the elbows to bring your upper body up. Let the head fall down. If it touches the mat, you can rest on the mat, but don't put weight on it. Take deep inhales into your chest, open your chest. Try to stay another five deep in and exhales here. If it gets too much, roll out of the position. And then bring your head up and slowly roll back onto the mat, release your arms, shake up the legs a little bit. And again, grab your knees and roll a bit from right to left. And maybe a bit forward and backwards also to massage your spine. And then release the right foot on the mat and lengthen the left leg. Bring the right knee towards your chest and pull it. Pull it towards your chest, keep your back straight. And then you can grab your right toe with your right hand if you can. 
And on an exhale, lengthen your leg. Try to straighten it as much as possible. And try to keep your shoulder on the mat. Breathe into the stretch. And then bend your leg and pull the knee next to your body on the floor to open the right hip. Again, the spine stays on the mat as much as possible. And then straighten the leg again and open it to the right side. And then bend it a bit, bring it back up and release the leg onto the mat. Shake it out a little bit. And then grab your left knee, pull it towards your chest. And grab your left toe with your left hand. And on the next exit, straighten the leg as much as possible. Feel the stretch. Breathe into the stretch. If you can, then keep the foot of right leg flexed. Breathe into your belly. And on the next exhale, bend the left foot and bring the knee as much as possible, pull it towards the ground. It's probably easier to do it with both legs at the same time. But okay, let's have a little bit of a challenge. Pull it down, open your hips. Breathe into your belly. And then straighten it again and bring it outwards, open to the side as much as possible. And relax in the super opening position for a moment. And then bring the leg back up and release it onto the mat. Shake out your legs and move your head a couple of times from right to left to release any tension in the neck. Give yourself a good stretch. And then get ready for the final relaxation. If you need some socks or a blanket or a pullover, take them now. And otherwise, come to lie in Shivasana, the legs slightly open, the feet falling outward, the arms along the body, and the palms of the hands facing the ceiling. Make some last, last adjustments in order to be able to relax without moving. Close your eyes and start relaxing the entire body. Start relaxing the toes. Relax your feet. Relax your legs, your knees. Relax your hips. Relax your pelvis. Feel how your belly muscles soften and relax. 
Relax your chest. Your shoulders. Relax your arms. Your hands. And all the ten fingers are completely relaxed. Relax your back. Feel along the spine. Take a scan from the lower part of the sacrum up the spine towards the neck and relax all at each of the vertebras. Relax your neck. Relax your throat. And start relaxing your entire head, including the ears, the jaws, the tongue, and your eyes. Feel your breath naturally coming in and out of your nostrils. And let's take a couple of minutes to stay in this state of complete relaxation. Slowly start bringing your attention back to the room. Start moving your toes and your fingers.
start feeling your body on the mat. Gravity. And then bring the left hand onto your heart. Roll onto the right side. And relax there for a moment. Take your time, and whenever you're ready, come back to a sitting position. Keep your eyes closed. And let's chant three ohms together. So inhale. Oh. Inhale. And the last one, inhale. Oh. Feel the vibration in your body. And then bring your hands together, rub your hands, create some heat between your hands. <laughs> 